Eiffel. London. London. This is Coogan Cassius for Eiffel London. With me, I've got the WBC light heavyweight champion of the world, Nathan Clary. Nathan, did you have a good trip down from uh, from Wales? <laughs> bit of a bit of a track um, on the trains uh, this morning. Woke up uh, about seven o'clock to make the journey down here. So a uh, bit of a track, but you know, it's, uh, it's going to be a good day. You've got fans here in in London as well, so you've got you've got to do these things, obviously, haven't you? Yeah, of course. I've, and in all fairness, I've, I've boxed in London. I think it's four, four times now. Um, I've had four title fights in London. Each occasion has been great. So I'm, I'm quite, I'm quite used to it down here. Um, we're in the Peacock Gym now. I fought in Bethnal Green a few times, um, which was great. And, and Wembley, which is is not too far away. So um, it's been a great experience each time I've come here. So you've got a, a Welsh homecoming fight on the 25th of, uh, of this month against Thomas Carpenter. What do you know about Thomas Carpenter? Like I said, it's um, an opponent that was named a few weeks ago. You know, what, what do you know about this opponent? Uh, basically, he's you know he, he's, he's got nothing to lose, Tommy, Tommy Carpenter. He's a tough guy. Um, he's operated at cruiserweight, so he's strong. Um, and he's, you know he's coming to win. You know he's coming to cause an upset. He's got no pressure on him, so he can't be dangerous. Uh, but I'm looking to put on a, a good performance, not only win, but uh, try and win in a, in a good fashion, uh, try and put on a good show, exciting. Um, but I think, you know, he will be tough while he lasts, but hopefully, you know, I can put on a, a good show and, uh, and get him out of there. Um, after your Tony Bell, you fight, I think a lot of people are looking for domestic showdowns with you and uh, various of other fighters being named. Um, I mean, this isn't how it works, though, is it? You can't be having these fights, you know, month in, month out, can you? That's it. It's, it's, it's difficult sometimes to, to keep on producing fights with, with a lot of hype, a lot of publicity around. Like the last fight, you know, it just doesn't, it doesn't happen that easily. Um, so the plan was for, for the homecoming fight, it's a 5,000 capacity arena. And you know the finances weren't there to to pay for a big uh, named opponent to come over. So we've got Tommy Carpency. Um You know we're still going to be a trained guy, a trained fighter who's who's cap just as capable as as anybody else of causing an upset. So I've got to be on my game, no slip ups, um, and and win this fight. And and we look for a, a big showdown in the summer with one of the elite names in the division. Um, is there a possibility of a rematch with Tony Bell? You're still on the cards for you, Nathan? Yeah, it's always a possibility. Um, you know, he's got his route to go now, um, defending his, his British. Um, obviously, I've got my route. Um, and who knows, you know, we could potentially clash in the future. Uh, other names on the radar, Chad Dawson, Bernard Hopkins. Again, these are fights that you're still looking for, not maybe immediately, but in the next sort of 12 to 18 months. Well, yeah, they, they are the elite names in the division. You know, they, those guys are, you know, are the best in the division at the moment. Um, they regard it as the best, and those are the type of fights you want to test yourself against. Um, that's that's the the guys you want to head for. Um, so hopefully, you know. Winning my next fight, uh, bit by bit we're getting there, um, and, and and that's the fights we, we we'd love in the future. Um, and how open to you about a fight with Carl Froch? Yeah, that's another one that's been uh, whispered. Um, potentially, that's that's another great fight that can be made. Um, two British guys, um, you know, we both good fighters, both plenty of heart. Uh, you know, that would be a, a cracking fight. Um, and just finally, I read a rumour on the internet this morning that um, you potentially are releasing a single with Tom Jones. Is this true? <laughs> Is that? <laughs> Seriously, I read it on the internet this morning that, you know, you're thinking about re releasing a Christmas single with you and Tom Jones. You're having me going now. No, no, seriously, this is what I read on the internet this morning. I had to ask you, because a lot of people were tweeting me about it. I asked Nathan about his duet with Tom Jones. Yeah, I had to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> That's got you, hasn't it? <laughs> Definitely got me, mate. Um, no, it's uh, new to me. I'll give it a go. I'll give, it, give it a go. Can you sing? <laughs> no, <laughs> not at all. All right, listen, there's a queue of other uh, reporters here waiting to speak to you, so uh, we we'll look forward to your, your media workout. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Thank you very much. I didn't really read that. <laughs> <laughs>
Eiffel. Blond, blond, blond. Eiffel.